Welcome, blessed being, to the Mystery School of the Rose. Thank you for arriving here. I'm so, so excited that your journey led you to, to be here. My name is Bianca, and it's an honor to meet you. I'm the founder of the Mystery School of the Rose, and this is truly my deepest passion, offering, sharing. And um, in this video, I'm just going to share a very quick summary of some of the things that you can expect on the seven month inner and outer journey of transformation, sharing and expansion. So the Mystery School of the Rose is a school for priestesses, for new earth leaders, those people who are know that they incarnated in this lifetime for something much grander than maybe you're presently living or maybe you're already living that grand, grand mission on purpose but you're really calling in the next step, the next passage, the next initiation to unfold, open, grow in your personal life and um, also in your professional life. Um, so if you've been feeling the summoning that, hey, you're here for something bigger, you're here to serve, you are a new earth leader, you are a new earth priestess, then this training is for you. This training is for those beautiful beings who know that they're here to be in service who know deep down in their bones with every cell in their body that they've come and sh shown up, really been born, incarnated here and now to be of greater service for the creation of a new paradigm, a new culture, one that is heart-led, that is heart-centered, that is filled with the generous abundance of the universe in co-creation with the God, the goddess, with the universe itself. So this is a seven month initiatory process for women who feel like they're ready to take that next step, to open up that next petal of the rose in their journey, to be inspired, to receive the confidence and courage to, to really expand. And then also, most importantly, rise in their leadership with that new found confidence within them. Because when we remember that we are a sparkle of the divine, there's nothing can that can dim our light. And that's the whole intention of this training, the seven month training. We work with the technology of Heka, which is an ancient Egyptian word, which literally means the formula for magic. So we work with the formula for magic, doing these ritual practices from the Temple of Isis on every full moon we gather. We do and enter into these beautiful sacred spaces of ceremony and activate within us the potentialities of our DNA to awaken. And when they awaken, a new frequency comes online. We embody a new frequency. And that new frequency is of recognition of the divine within us, is of the experience of the divine within us. And when that turns on, the rest happens very organically, very naturally. Our power comes back, our sovereignty is reclaimed, the creativity unlocks, and our rule as leadership in this moment comes back online. So we meet about four, four to five times a month during the seven month process of initiation, always on the full moon to enter into ceremony. And the rest of the month is really a process of integrating this frequency so that you can make it real and sustainable in your lifestyle because maybe you have shifted your frequency, but everything around you now needs to recalibrate to meet you there. And that is a process. And we do that through our PPP, our priestess purification plan, our daily committed practice, our sadhana to support our mastery of mind, body, and spirit. We do a daily movement of body so that we can be strong in our bodies. We work on just reflecting on how to clean this vessel up, how to purify through our, through our nutrition, through our daily rituals, our daily habits, through the company we expose ourselves to, through our time in nature, through the resources and books and content we're consuming. And then most importantly, through our service. You are here to serve, you know it. You came here to be a leader, a pioneer of ushering in a heart-centered paradigm, a new earth leader. And this is a container, a training, a supportive um, space, sacred space, for you to fully embody what you know you came here to be. 
with the support of a sisterhood, with the support of tools, with epic theory practices. So along with going into ritual, being supported, gathering to sing these hymns and songs that you channel to the Divine Mother and singing those together in prayer, knowing that the frequency of those hymns are elevating our consciousness. And along with all of that, there's beautiful theory practices that we do every, every month, including learning all about temple consciousness, temple arts, um, temple technology, about the way of the priestess, the way of the rose, about all the different frequencies, colors, and perfumes of the rose, why she's waking up and resurrecting in this time, and how we can really summon her to, to work as a guiding light in this time to awaken our heart and awaken the hearts of humanity. Additionally, we work with the seven, the pantheon of the seven goddesses, the Mr. School of the Rose, Goddess Isis, Mary Magdalene, Lakshmi, um, Hathor, Mother Mary, Sarasvati, and Sekhmet. And so in every gate, every moon cycle, there's seven. We work with a different goddess. We invoke her. She comes in as a guide, as a protector. And we we really open ourselves to receiving the frequency and the mm, the, the vibration, the, the core blueprint that she holds. We open ourselves to embody also that and get, um, yeah, merge with that and activate within us the different qualities of these avatar goddesses. And we learn about them. We, we dive into their journey. We bring them in into our, into our sphere and they become guides, guides in this lifetime. And there's one of the most beautiful, important tools in this life. Like there's so many, but working and with the divine mother, with the goddess and her different forms can be such a supportive tool in these times. Oh, there's so much more. We have a beautiful back end space called the Rose Temple Portal, where everything, all our sessions are recorded and they're uploaded and you have access to them. Um, we have our Sunday updates where we chime in on our group chat and share a minute of how we're going. Um, we have priestess partners every month to keep each other accountable on how we're flowing with the with the priestess purification plan with our sadhana, with all the tasks, with the integration of the ceremony, with also then the final passage of this whole training is really to support you with the tools necessary that you need to then rise in your leadership and share and offer this technology, this Heka, this, these Temple of Isis rituals with your community. And on every new moon, you are out there sharing these rituals, gathering women, women and men, just men in sacred ceremony. So you can be part of really step into that role of service that you're truly calling in right now. It's like, how can I serve at my community? How can I support people to come back into the heart? How can I support people to remember? Well, the entire essence of um, these Temple of Isis rituals is to create this formula. This is an input through the precision of our inputs, through the precision of our prayers, the setup, the geometry, the, the little steps of opening up this portal gives us then an output of magic. And that output of magic is remembrance of our own divinity. And when we remember our own divinity, we unlock our power, we awaken to our sovereignty, we unlock our creativity, and then we step into the role of our leadership. And in this year specifically, and I keep saying it, but it cuts getting stronger and stronger. In this year specifically, we are being summoned and asked by the Divine Mother herself in all her forms, the goddesses and the earth and the stars, to truly let go of limiting beliefs, let go of what anyone else out there thinks, and truly rise in our power, rise and open our voice, and we work so much with the voice, open our voice to really begin to shine and share the light that you came here to be so that we can collectively, as this collective of new earth leaders, new earth priestesses, steward and usher in a new paradigm. And that paradigm is the way of the heart, is the rose path, and along with truly acknowledging and living from the heart, there's a very humanness side of that whole constellation, which is something we take into consideration a lot because a new earth priestess is not one that is just confined to a one temple on the top of the hill. Maybe that's your role. The new earth priestess is one of the world. She is working with people. She is being the embodiment of love. 
and she is offering her presence to other people, be it online, be it in person. And she, through her presence, through her embodiment, is awakening other people. She is temple keeping, not just her sacred space, her home, maybe you have a temple, maybe your altar, but she is tending to also herself through deep practice of self-love, which is one of the core things we work with, because if we take care of ourselves, guess who else takes care of ourselves? The whole universe. She tends and keeps to her community in relationship, in communication, and she tends and keeps to our beautiful Mother Earth. So two minutes turned into 11 minutes. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions at all, you're more than welcome to reach out to me at hello at biancakempe.com in the register button here on my website. Um, or if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a link to mysteryschoolofthe-rose.com. Um, and then there's a button to register. You can enter there. And also the next step would just be to fill out an application form and that would uh, then lead us to a discovery call. We begin in June 2024 and it would be my absolute honor and pleasure to journey with you. I am open for enrollment now. We are a very limited group of women. And of course, one of the most magical parts is once we are part, you are part of sisterhood, um, we do two pilgrimages every year and you're invited to that and um, they are just such beautiful portals of remembrance pilgrimages for me walking myself back home connecting to the voice of the land connecting to the mysteries of the land gathering and, and, and opening up sacred spaces to to connect to to our truth to to the truth and the true voice of the earth the mysteries that have been kept the the light that is and love that is ready to be shined and shared in this this moment um, usually every year we finish our, our journey on the, we begin our journey on the summer solstice and we begin, we finish our journey on the winter solstice, usually pilgrimaging to Egypt. And it looks like that will happen again this year. Um, spending the last full moon of our, of our journey together in the temple of Isis, doing these temple of, doing this temple of Isis ritual and finishing on the winter solstice in the king's chamber of the king of the great pyramid of Giza. So with that being said, there's so much excitement. I can talk forever, um, but uh, I hope I summarize this journey. And um, if you want to learn more, feel free to connect and look through the website. And with that, um, many, many blessings. My name is Bianca Kempe, and it would be an absolute honor to journey through this priestess initiatory training with you, hand in hand, heart to heart. Much love. Mm.